Hello my frugal friends, welcome to today's video where I'm going to try a method of preserving and storing excess zucchini. I'm pretty excited about giving this a go. So if you guys are new around here, if we haven't had the chance to hang out before, my name is Nikki, I'm an Aussie mum and I love sharing all of the tips and tricks that have helped us not only budget better, but save money, pay all of off all of our debt and really start to be very frugal with not just our money but all of the things in our lives and our household and one of the things that we really strive towards is zero waste in the kitchen now we're not perfect by any means but we are doing our best and we are trying to learn and try new things and just become better as time goes by. This year we have a veggie patch growing. We ha I've had veggies on and off over the last couple of years. This year um, we're having quite a bumper crop, which is excellent, of these guys. <laughs> so if you guys have ever had a veggie patch before and you've planted zucchini, um, you know that if you have a good year, you just can't keep up with these plants. We've got four plants in the veggie patch at the moment and they're just going bonkers. So we're giving them away, mum's taking them into work to give to people, um, we are cooking with them, we've got zucchini muffins and things like that into the freezer. But at some point you just want a way to quickly preserve them. So we're going to try a method that I heard about uh, on a podcast that I was listening to a little while ago and I was like, I wonder if it is actually possible just to freeze these guys. So let's jump into today's video and have a look. All right, so all I'm going to do today is grate all of these up and I'm actually going to put them into these muffin tins and freeze them. They're going to freeze in about probably half a cup or a little bit more parcels. I'll flash freeze them and then just put them in a Ziploc bag. And then we can use these later on in spaghetti bolognese or chili or zucchini bread or muffins or anything like that where you want to put some sneaky grated uh, zucchini. But I don't have to worry about any of that right now because all I'm going to do is grate it and freeze it and then we'll have it for later. All right, so here is our zucchini that has been flush frozen. I was only gonna give it 24 hours, but uh, that time I ran out yesterday, so it's had a little bit longer than what it needed, but that's not gonna matter. Um, the idea now is, I'm just going to run a little bit of cold water over the backs of these and these should just pop out as little um, muffin cup size serves that we can then just pop into dishes later on. I'm going to need two hands for this, unfortunately, so you guys aren't going to be able to actually see that part of it, but I haven't tried this before. This is an experiment. Let's see how it goes and let's see if we can't get those into ziplock bag all right wish me luck i will be back in a minute all right so just a quick little sit in um this is just tap water it's um not warm or anything like that but because these are frozen and then i just oh i told you it was hard one-handed but then they just pop out in a little so I did make sure that when I put them in there, I, I pushed them down, pressed them down, so they were compacted in. But there we go, little ready to go half cup, two thirds of a cup of grated zucchini. All right, so now that these guys are out of the muffin tins, all I'm gonna do is just pop them back here, separated on my um, flash freezing drawer in the freezer. It's not actually technically that, it's for the ice, but that's what I use it for. So I'm gonna pop these back in and just separate them out so um, they don't stick together as they refreeze in the freezer. Well, not refreeze, because they haven't defrosted, but um, you know what I mean. So now that they're back into the Ziploc bag, 
I'm going to just make sure that they are definitely not going to stick together when they're frozen. So I'm going to put them back in here like this. I'm going to leave them for another 24 hours and then that bag can move and won't need to stay flat like that. And there we're done. But we're also sort of kind of not done because I still have all of these in the drawer in my fridge and this came out of the veggie garden yesterday and I even ha haven't even had a look today and I reckon there's going to be another few there so um, we will be finding some homes for these. We're going to try and give these away to some people who maybe don't have zucchini plants growing in abundance but uh, if you guys grow zucchini you know the problem. I mean it, it is the plant that just keeps on giving. <laughs> so uh, There's still more work to be done but at least we know that the freezing the shredded zucchini into the little um, muffin cup containers works great. I'm definitely going to continue using this method. I'm going to be really interested to see what the grated zucchini is like when I actually cook with it, which, you know, we won't probably know for a little bit yet, but we'll definitely let you guys know in future videos. So if you would like to stay up to date with all of that sort of stuff, then don't forget to hit that little subscribe button down below. It is the best way to be notified when my new videos come out. And I do have heaps of new content in the works for you guys. And I would love for you to join us in our little journey here as we learn to live more frugally, save money, cut back on waste in the kitchen and also you know try out all of these new different things see if they work so I can share them with you guys so you guys can try them at your place if they work too. So if you enjoyed today's video as always if you could please give it a thumbs up I really do appreciate that it lets me know the kind of content that you guys are enjoying and what you would like to see more of. And like I said if you'd like to see more of these sorts of tips ways to preserve food save food hopefully have a little bit less waste in the kitchen then don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I do like to share all of the things the tips and the tricks and the hacks that we use that help us get more bang for our buck so we can live the life that we want thanks so much for spending a little bit of time with me here today I really hope that you got something out of today's video and if you do try this I would love to hear from you in the comment so let me know if you have as much success with this method as what I did and I'd also like to know what do you guys like to do with your zucchini how do you use zucchini in your recipes sneaky veggie ideas I love it I'm all about getting a bit of grated something sneaky uh, into some recipes and making it a little bit healthier bulking it out with some veggies it's definitely one of the ways that we keep our costs our food costs down so hit me up in the comments with your best grated zucchini recipes I would love to hear from you guys and I need some new ideas so get down there in the comments and let me know how you like to hide zucchinis in your food so your kids don't know that they're in there <laughs> all right well have a fantastic day have a fantastic week and I hope to see you in my next video until then take care bye